Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see the proof of some rule followed by some examples. So, let us say we have two functions. If y is equal to sum of two functions like this, f of x plus g of x, f of x being one function and g of x being another function, and if we want to find the sum of some of these two functions, and if we want to find the uh, the derivative of these, the derivative of some of these two functions, this is how we're going to do it. So we apply the derivative formula of limits the way we know it, and the way we know it is as follows: dy by dx is equal to limit as h approaches zero, f of x plus h x plus h minus f of x this whole thing divided by h like that and therefore we're going to substitute the given function into the formula as this next step and when we do that we can write this one as follows dy by dx is equal to limit as h approaches zero we can write this as f of x x plus h let me erase this and then rewrite this f of x plus h plus g of x plus h we'll put that in brackets there and then minus open brackets f of x plus g of x close brackets this whole thing divided by h and then we go to close brackets all uh, on the right hand side okay now if we wait to uh, if we if we wait to open up this uh, distribute the negative sign uh, to the second set of uh, brackets in in the numerator part we have the expression we the expression simplifies as follows limit as x approaches 0 the numerator part can be written out as follows f of x plus h plus g of x plus h minus f of x minus g of x we have distributed the negative sign to every one of the terms inside the second set of brackets so therefore that is what we are left with the whole thing divided by h like that now if we wait to if we wait to select um, a few terms in here we can write this one as follows isn't it so limit as h approaches 0 I can combine the numerator terms selectively as follows f of x plus h that is what I have minus f of x plus g of x plus h minus g of x I collected the x uh, plus h minus x of x uh, f of x terms and then g of x plus h minus g of x terms um, this is one set this is another set the whole thing divided by h therefore if we wait to uh, apply the limits to each one of them we can write this as follows limit as h approaches 0 f of x plus h x plus h minus f of x this whole thing divided by h plus the limit as h approaches 0 g of x plus h minus g of x that whole thing divided by h so by looking at this now we can say that dy by dx is going to be equal to this whole thing this whole limit limit 
f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h as h approaches 0. This part of it is, isn't that equal to f primes of x? Isn't that the first derivative of the function? Plus, this part here, limit g of x plus h minus g of x divided by h as h approaches 0. This part of the equation, this is the, the first derivative of the second function, g of x. Therefore, by looking at this, we can see that the derivative of sum of a function is the sum of the derivatives. So that is how we can state it in terms of words. So this is, I will put a box around this. This is an important statement. I'm going to repeat that again. The derivative of a sum of a function is the sum of the derivatives, sum of the derivatives. Let us look at a simple example based of this particular proof. Example. Let's say we have y is equal to x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 2. And we want to find the first derivative of this function with respect to x. So the way we want to solve this one is as follows. dy by dx is going to be equal to d by d by dx of this whole thing x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 2 since we have two functions we can differentiate them separately like this d by dx of x to the power of 4 plus d by dx of x to the power of 2 like that and therefore now each one of them is in the form of uh, we can apply the power rule for them and therefore we can write this one out as follows here n equals to 4 therefore 4 x to the power of 4 minus 1 plus in here n is equal to 2 therefore 2 x to the power of 2 minus 1 applying the power rule so therefore when we simplify simplify this this is going to come out as 4 x to the power of 3 plus 2x to the power of 1. So therefore we can further simplify this one as 4x cubed plus 2x. That is where we want to leave it. This is the derivative of that given function. x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 2. In my next presentation, we shall see the proof of, proof of difference rule following, followed by uh, followed by some examples.